Hey y'all, this is Ursh, and welcome back to XCOM. We've got a brand new crew ready to go out on a uh, small UFO shootdown, and I mean brand new in the sense of it's a crew we haven't seen out uh, in a little bit. Some folks have been injured, some folks have been uh, just out of the rotation, but we have a bunch of faces here that are ready to get upgraded. We got Spike on the verge of a promotion, Reaper on the verge of a promotion, Commando, nowhere close, but he's our, he's our big man on campus. Sugar, uh, nowhere close, but she's bringing a zapper. Who else is the other one I was trying? Ah, Mac, that's right. Mac on the verge of a promotion as well. So if all goes according to plan, we have three new promoted soldiers at the end of this uh, mission. Small shoot down, shouldn't be difficult. Hopefully we can get a capture out um, via Sugar's good graces. Let's see what we can do and get out there now. Yeehaw! Gonna get us crash UFO in Nunavut, baby. Has yeah. It's cold up there, baby. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Indeed. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. Damn. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Me too, Bradford. Me too. That sounded awfully, like, threatening and ominous, Bradford. It's kind of douchey. Are there any civilians there? Well, <laughs> let's hope they get the hell out of the way. Thanks, Bradford. Always can be counted on for a helping hand. Civilians... They're Bradford's best friends. This is Big Sky. Okay. Just north of the what do we got? Well, I love No Man's Land. Strike Not. Um, okay. So, uh, if I judge by the fires, the UFO's in that direction somewhere. Luckily, luckily we are in a corner. So again, the whole benefit of not being flanked to hell from a corner will help. I want to get here. Um... Mainly, well, mainly for a lot of reasons. One of which being the G. I don't know. Actually, having cor cover from somewhere, cover, cover from somewhere, uh, and keeping an eye on where stuff is deployed. For that though, we need Spike. Oh, Spike does not have battle scanner baseline. Okay, so we literally have one scan, and here I thought I had Spike with an extra battle scan. You know, it's just one of these days I'm gonna figure out how I'm actually staffing these people and staff them appropriately. Until that day happens, though, you're gonna have to put out my dumb crap that I say in the mission loadout screen before we go. All right, well, let's take a peek. Okay, looks like nothing out there for now. So we're gonna try not to go past Spike right now and uh, move nice and easy, nice and light, tiptoe through the window. Uh, in that kind of weird, creepy way that I do. Moving and see position. if we don't make contact, um, or hope we don't make contact, before we're damn well ready. Okay. This is the end of the map here as well. Like I said, in the corner, so it's unlikely there's a pack sitting there. I've seen weirder things happen, so I'm not putting that out of the realm of possibility, but it's less likely than most to occur. Uh, Hank, I want to put here. He's got the big gun. He is quasi-psychotic, so I'm going to get him steady for next uh, shot to make that one count. See, I'm listening to my <laughs> devious viewers. I do not have fire in the hole on uh, Mac here, so I'm gonna just steady here. If we need to toss a long range rocket and really obliterate something from close range, we will. Dane, uh, again, we're not gonna move past this tile. We have two psychic operatives on this mission, Dane and Hank both. Let's get Ray up here and back up and let's overwatch and listen to what we've got. <laughs> Okay. I definitely heard the telltale sounds of Big Mech. Um, that's not great. We'll find out soon enough where Position it's at. Confirmed. Okay, no contact yet. We have no oral cue on the direction of said mech. So, I'm guessing mechtoid? But, uh, reality does not rule out the possibility of sectopod. So there's that. Uh, which is just not okay. a good thing. Sectopods scare the bejesus out of me because those things are nasty, they're dangerous, and they can do a lot of damage before you're ready to deal with it. So, sectopods, so yeah. So that happened. Um, maybe. Mech toys, also not fun. But we will persevere, we will endure. Uh, let me get Mac in a corner. Moving out. I don't know where anything is. No meld sounds, no oral cues. Let me get Mac, like I said, on a corner cover so he's ready for wherever anything comes from. Steady up in case we do pull that mech toy at some point. Ray, uh, 
let me just get people in position first before I make that really move that may take contact or not. Again, it looks like Sugar's not going to have the opportunity to utilize her um, arc thrower for obvious reasons, because you can't stun sectopods, and if it's mech toys, you can't stun mech toys. Maybe they'll come with a friend or something. Or we'll just save it for the outsider. That's also I'm a very good commander. possibility. Ray should probably just stay back there. Uh, let's see. You know what? Commando is going to move anyway if he fires, so he can stay on Overwatch, I guess, over the top rim here. Everyone else, I guess... Oh, well, you can Overwatch as you can't steady. You... Yeah. Steady up. Tank, steady up. Spike, you're going to move, so why don't you Overwatch for us. Reaper, steady up. And Ray, steady up. And we'll see where the evil comes from. Yep, definitely mech. Okay, could be literally just over that ridge. Um, which, on this map, it always feels like everything's over just over that ridge, huh? Alright, let's get Sugar out there to take a peek. She always take cover somewhere. I really wish my scout, quote-unquote, had um, a little profile. But if it's over here, let's see where it is, eh? I mean, this may not be. This may be the outsider we're hearing and not the mech pot at all, and that'll make things a lot easier Let's to know, I suppose. Nope. That's the mech pod. Okay, that is... Double mech toyed! With a baby rocketeer! Oh, this will be oodles of fun, won't it? Friends? Well, balls. Okay. So, how far can we toss a mech... A custom-built mech uh, rocket here? It's like I'm making myself. Uh, Shredder, can you shred, and how far? You can shred part of the mech pack, but I need you to shred all up in that mech pack. I need you to move up, buddy, even though you probably are the last person who wants to be at the front line right now. Um, how far back is he? He needs literally like a couple tiles of action to do this, but he hath not the movement. Hank also hath not a shot on this, which is disconcerting, but we should be able to make do. However, now we know where the enemy lies, and now that we know where the enemy lies, we can prepare for him. Pretty hey, sure Sun Tzu did not say that, but I might have paraphrased pretty well. Okay. Uh, let's plan ahead. If they move, if they actually patrol out, we'll have it pretty easy. This is double cover, this is double height, which is why they can't see us. How good is your arm? Can we activate it with alien? We probably could activate it with alien grenade, actually. I'm on it, Commander. Let's see. No, not quite. Okay, so we do need that rocket to activate somehow. Mac can probably roll out in this direction. Mac cannot stay on the open, though. Because uh, that would just be suicide. Again, let's check the range on this. I mean, we are so close to shredding everything. But given that we only have one shredder, we need to make this count. What I may do, actually, though, is actually use a proper rocket to kill the sectoids here hold on go go lower come on if the shredder had that range the real rocket will have that range too come on guys don't mess with me now oh wow well, really the shredder can hit more dudes than this one can that is fascinating newsletters and all okay well with that in mind i think mac really does need to take this position hold that line and then unleash hell once he's steadied um Assuming that thing doesn't move. I'm a little worried about this without steadying that this won't really connect where I want it to, but uh, beggars, choosers, and all. Uh, so it doesn't look like any grenade-type people up there, so I'm going to move some of my bigger gunners out here. Aye, aye. Get ready for it to crest the ridge and really put everything to hell. Yes, Commander. Luckily, this is undestructible cover. Hank will stay back here. Ray will be back here throwing and commanding. This looks pretty good. Overwatch on Dane. Uh, sugar steady up. Hank, steady up. Reaper, steady up. Ray. Ray's gonna need to toss some chems up here, too. But how good's your smoke coverage, Ray? That's everybody. That's everybody up there. Uh, chems are gonna be really useful here. So I'm gonna put Ray maybe on this corner. Position confirmed. So he can toss the smoke here. And potentially also the chem if it advances close enough to so we can get rid of its DR. That looks pretty good to me. Ray, steady up here. Commando steady, uh, I mean Overwatch rather, and we'll see what we've got. If we can unload a good rocket this turn. Yeah, yeah, you're right there. Do you patrol is the question. 
You do not appear to patrol. And there's a meld right inside the damn thing. Okay. So let's see this rocket scout. Jesus, 3.1. I need to take another turn of steadying here. Um, not because... I, I need that. I need a shredder to hit, basically. That's exactly the situation. Uh, all right. Steady up, Ray. Commando. Overwatch. Dane. Overwatch. You never know when they suddenly start uh, patrolling on me. Steady up. I know you're probably going to toss a grenade. Hank, steady up. And then spike Overwatch. And then this turn we unload the rocket. Yeah, bingo. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be minimal. The outsider could be right there as well. Yay, battle scanner glitches. Okay. So double mechtoid pack, eh? This is kind of fun. So let's get this shot proper. I don't want to potentially trigger an outsider if it's sitting right there on that side, but let's say hi and shred everything. Won't even know what happened. I hope so. For your sake. Okay. We triggered something. We're not sure what got shredded by what, because I can't see diddly, because the screen won't move. Okay, we don't know if we shredded the two mectoids, which is a frightening freaking possibility. Alright, damn. Okay, Layla. We knew where the mectoids are, though, so can you grenade them? Layla cannot grenade them, and we have overwatches to worry about, so this is not safe right now. Uh, though this may this may be safe, however. No, those mech toys have pretty good movement. Um, so yeah, we may not have shredded, given that that rocket fell short. And now we may be in what we call frickin' trouble. Um, Hank, do you have eyes on anything here? Let's take the back shots first. 98, 74. I need to eliminate the sectoids a little bit, for obvious reasons. Um, they are the ones who are going to provide that dumbass little shield. Right, 72. I want Hank to take that shot. Can we get a... Uh, Hollow up on the... Yeah, we can. Good. Not to try and connect here, obviously. Just to hollow. We mind frame something. Ooh, what are the odds of mind frame? 65% It's not bad. Versus... You can't mind frame the mechanical, but... This is for hollow purposes, not for attacking purposes. So why don't we just... Take a shot. Okay, or you can just freaking ice the dude. That's amazing. Can we hollow up on this guy? Dolphin likes his new gun! Wow! That dude! Damn! Okay. Overwatch opportunist. Hank's like, God damn it! <laughs> I wanted to take that shot. Can I? Let me just steady up with Hank, actually. I think it should be okay. Ray, you need to smoke right now, um, for obvious reasons. And then you're gonna hunker. Smoke's because off. you need to cover your ass and potentially be there to toss another smoke and medicate all these folks when they come down with a bad case of mectoid to the face. So stay there. Don't worry about the steady for now, bucko. I got you. All right. Layla. Overwatch. These guys are going to crest the hill in a second. I just know it. We already pissed them off. They can run pretty well. What's scarier than two active mectoids? Two active mectoids where you don't know where they are. God damn it. Alright, spike. We're gonna run spike out here because if Overwatch cover. Okay, so obviously these mectoids are being covered by that dude. What with the psychic crap and all. Hank, could you actually get a shot on this guy over here? I don't think Hank can because this is full height. Can't kill that guy with anybody. Not safely, at least. Not without putting sugar into instant death range. Alright, well, Spike, come back here. Uh, not much you can do with that until those mech toys decide to come out to play, yay. Ray, hunker. I don't. I need you not to die here. Everyone else is just going to overwatch, I think. It makes sense. Um, there's some big guys coming in, and we got to make sure we can take some damage out of them. Over... I want to just steady up, actually. Mac, you steady up. You need to overwatch there, Reaper. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you're going to come up here somewhere. I think I heard something. There we go. There's one. He's the one without the shield. Okay. God, those things look mean, don't they? They just look so That's mean. Wow, I'm glad I was about to say, maybe I should leave Hank out because he'll be okay. Never mind. So is this guy shredded or not? That's the question. 
And I don't think the shred actually connected. It did not connect. Son of a gun. And this is a standard mechtoid. Light him up. Oh, he's light him up. Oh, God. And he has range on Hank. All right, this thing needs to die now. Reaper has no... Of course he's no eyes on it. Why, why, why wouldn't he? Well, I mean, why would he, rather? There's a tree there, God forbid. Okay. So we need to get hollow up. Spike, what's your odds on this guy? 83% with a hollow. Not bad, not bad. Um, uh, we'll keep him here and probably... Probably gonna save max rocket. I will toss a heat grenade, though. Makes it a lot easier. Make sure they don't have any decent cover if they do try to rush up here. I mean, the sectoids, not the mectoids that use cover. All right, how do we start this? I think we can take this guy in one turn and then wait for his buddy. For that, we may need to employ rockets. How's your rapid fire? 60% is not bad. I may move commando up here and rapid fire through the tree um, since it's unlikely to wreck cover there, but Reaper needs to shoot, man. Spike, 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 spikey spike. What am I going to do with you, man? You're blocking Reaper's shot, and he needed to have two. That's what I was counting on. That Gauss gun. <sighs> Balls. All right. Let me toss Commando up here, I guess. And he can rapid fire from closer range. Roger that. Okay. That's better. 90% chance to rapid fire. Okay, this guy may be going down pretty quickly. But, I mean, sorry. I mean, the famous last words, right? I'm just going to get everybody Moving killed, aren't position. I? Okay. You actually have a shot, finally. Good. Okay, Spike, get your hollow up, bro. We're going to go with a smoke again, so I'm not moving Spike right now. Nice. 3DR, it's okay. On a shotgun, that's actually not that much DR, honestly. That's pretty good. All right, hollow is up. Hank has a 100% shot, 24% chance to crit. He's the all-father. Let's take that swing. Might as well let Hank do his Hank thing. Nice. Nice. Eight damage. Sexy. I like it. Okay, if I have to, if I don't need to deploy as many explosives as I expect, this will be a good thing indeed. Oh wow, yeah, he's he's gonna be gone, that feller. Uh, well, might as well kill him with Dane. Um, wait, everyone that I want promotions have promotions already. Yep, Spike does. Reaper does. Okay, so everyone that I really want to have promotions will have promotions. It says Dane can only fire his gun right now with double tap. Let's just get rid of this damn thing. Sexy. One down. Hell hath been seen and glimpsed from above. Okay, good. So, this is all good news. Uh, one mectoid up, one sectoid up. Uh, sectoid is prepping mectoid. How good is your smoke grenade there, bucko? Can we cover everybody? We can. Okay, this is good. This is very good. Commando also has tankiness with the chitin plating, so this is important. I'm going to toss the smoke right there. And Ray's gonna do this usual thing of staying uh, to cover, staying hunkered. Why did the screen do that? Don't freak me out, game. Hunker up. Keep tossing that support out, baby. Uh, Overwatch Commando. Could Commando possibly get flanked from here? Yee, that guy is obviously sitting right there. So if he does take a bit of a dash up... I don't know, that's kind of scary. Can we piss that guy off a little bit? I mean, that, that damn shield is going to be up, but maybe it'll expire by the time. You know what, I'm going to I'm gonna be smart and take full commando back a tick here, just to be a little safer. I don't want him to die. It would be awful if he got flanked and killed. Moving. Let's just take it back a tile. Overwatch, Mac, steady, because you're probably going to need a rocket at some point. Alessandro, Overwatch, and let's see what comes. The Reaper. Reaper. You gotta reap for me, buddy. Come on. Son of a bitch. He's making me waste my s smokes on him by locking me down like this. Okay. I'm on the move. Where are you, prick? Okay. Well, the shield is gone. If the mechtoid is still where I think he is, in here somewhere, um, then we're actually okay. 85% is not bad, but I don't know where that damn mechtoid is, actually, and that's the scary part. Commando, do you have vision around the side? Let me see where this prick went. No, I don't see him anywhere, so he could well be sitting there. Or he could have run off into the UFO. But right now, I have good vision over the side. So what I'm going to do, lacking vision in this position, I'm going to toss a grenade from Layla. Since I'm still in, in decent smoke cover, I'm going to toss a grenade here and see if we connect with Mr. Mr. Mechtoid Pants. And if we do connect with Mr. Mechtoid Pants, we know where he is and we'll unload a rocket, too. 
Bonjour, mes amis. Yeah, Mr. Megapod Pants is still there. That's awesome. He just took seven damage from a grenade. That dumbass. Okay, good. So, we're gonna unload a rocket here as well. Um, for very obvious reasons. Uh, since we know where he is, we might as well put, start putting some more hurt on him. Let's go right... I uh, should be right there. Go up a little higher. Uh, let's get the... Let's get the rocket exactly where I want to put it. I want to put that rocket right there, right in his gullet. To be safe, I'm going to pull Spike back into the smoke. Um, not because I think Moving. Spike is going to get killed from that position, but because I think our guy is going to kill him. Mac, not the most accurate aimer on the planet. Um, still kind of a junior in the squad. Still needs to work on his aim a little bit, so let's not risk anything we don't need to. We're going to center it on where I know that guy is and just unload another rocket. Going home. Like that. Like, see, he completely shanked it. Just like that. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate, but <laughs> what, what can you do for a Klondike bar? You do not have lock and load yet, so we're going to wait it out. Uh, no reason to rush in here. Again, I want milled, but double mectoid pod that will not dash at me means double mectoid pod that may kill me in the future. Commando, I'm going to... I mean, need to reload on Dane, honestly. He's a little low on ammunition at this point. Hank, steady up that big old gun ears. Ray... If I overwatch on Ray, he's just going to run in and shoot Ray, so you know what? So he's still in that little corner pocket, isn't he? Unless he moves out. Jackass is still there, isn't he? There he is. Nice shooting, guys. That's a big dude. That's a big daddy right there. Oh, damn. That's a big daddy right there. Might hurt. Luckily, he missed. Okay. Oh, he got shredded. We actually nailed the shred on this guy, I think. Let's see. Uh, no, not really. What did he lose? So this guy is a super... I'm an idiot. I'm looking at commando. This guy's a super commando! Ah, jackass. Vulcan mectoid. <laughs> He's very logical, I suppose. No, what do we got? Executioner. Oh, God, that's scary. Rapid reaction. Light him up. Combined arms, repair servos, platform stability, shock absorbent armor. Basically just a giant walking pile of FU. Um, okay, well, we can deal with that. I'll show you what I do to giant piles of FU where I come from, sir. We have a lot of shots with a lot of people. Except for Reaper, because Reaper just is never in the right place at the right time. But everyone else is. Uh, so this is going to be relatively easy to take down. Uh, I need Hank to get lock and load. And Hank does not have aim on this bastard. He probably will from this direction. So, Hank, can you move over here and get aim on this guy? Apparently not. Okay, Hank, you're officially demoted to going back here and sticking with Ray. Hey, now he had aim. God, if only moved him there first. It's okay. All right, you know the deal. Hollow. Then we bring the pain. Hola. Adios. Uh, in short order. No, not adios yet, but adios soon. Dane will now be able to probably take this guy apart. Um, can we? Oh, can we mind fray the guy? I want to see if I can mind fray this particular mechanic. I can mind fray him. Interesting. Cool. Okay, so we can't mind fray drones, as far as I understand it, but I can mind fray ugly bastards like this. Moving to position. Yo. What up? Gauss weapons hurt, but not as much as I'd like. I kind of wish I could put more damage on him. Still doing okay though. I mean, honestly, we're doing okay. We've got eyes and we've got commando to clean up the business, so there's no way this guy's going to survive the turn. But we are going to need the contributions of all our party members to make this work. It's a good D&D game. Uh, Alright, take that swing, Ray. Stop lowing, rolling so damn low and freaking me out. We'll have this, no problem. So the question is, do I want to give this to commando or dolphin? Commando's at 31, so he's still grand from his top-end promotion. Dolphin, uh, he's to closer promotion. I almost want to give this to Dolphin again. Need more gunners at um, AOE suppression hollow range. If Mac could get this, though, that'd be nice. Oh, Mac doesn't have eyes on this. Uh, and his shadow ray is not going to do diddly damage. Diddly dum diddly dum just, uh Sugar, too, is getting closer to promotion. Let's see if we can get Sugar. Is Packmaster next one for engineers, I think? Maybe. Yes, Commander. Thank you, Commander. Yeah, this way we might be able to give Mac the promotion. Yeah, if Mac rolls a 4 on his gun, this should be fine. If not, um, oh, yeah. then we'll just Rocket. give it to someone else. Come on. I'm gonna roll a 1 in me. There we go, Mac! Good job. 72 XP. 
Oh yeah. Need that man to keep jumping up to levels. Need my Rocketeers back up to full rocket capacity. Alright, looks like we're doing fine. No more active aliens as far as I understand it. Let's move in for the Outsider, because it's probably the last one left. Let's see if we can snag us a meld. Again, a little bit of a concern on the Outsider here. We don't have a particularly great spot to stand uh, to avoid the contact. So we're going to try to run in this straight line uh, as much as we can and not get that guy. Because if we get caught out here, again, bad position. We will have high ground, so we're going to put Hank there. Uh, but I'm talking too much. Let's keep going through this mission and see if we can bang Ready this one out. Rock. Scratch that! There is another mech pod out there. Which means that we are not, by any means, going after the outsider right now. And just when I thought this mission would be over easily. God, these little shoot- these small UFO shootdowns have been absolutely hellish as of late. What gives, man? Oh, man? These are all like death clown cars that I've been encountering. Holy hell. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't rush in. I took some time to breathe and reconfigure myself. Position. Don't want to peek the outsider until we're damn ready well ready. Rock. Hank needs to reload, so let's put Hank kind of out here, okay. I guess. And reload. Rock I want him to have a clean shot on whatever's coming. Spike. Moving. We are going to be blue moving here because we have relatively good vision on everything. Our guns are almost spent after dealing with a double mectoid pod. Let's hope it's just another single mectoid pod or something, not more than I expect. Commando. He's been there as a threatening force. Always good, always diligent, always doing some good damage. Mac, you got yourself a mectoid kill. Good on you. Not all our Rocketeers can honestly say that, which is pretty interesting. Um, he did some good work this mission. Uh, missed that shred a bit. But, you know, at least we killed them all without too much of an issue. So we're more or less loaded up. We're going to overwatch with Commando in case something suddenly teleports into us. We know that's the Outsider, but I don't want to be fighting the Outsider when I'm worried about triggering a giant mech pack somewhere. So let's take a peek. Hank, I mean, may honestly need to be up here. Let's take a peek with Ray and see what's going on. Okay, nothing. That's the nearest pack, and we don't have any scans, so there's going to be another low meld mission, I think. God damn it. Uh, but okay. I'm going to get my operator the motion tracker. The sooner the exalt missions are over, the better. Okay, Spike. Um, yeah, I'm going to stay away from the UFO Moving. a little bit, for obvious reasons. Don't want to trigger the outsider before we're damn well ready. I'm on it, Commander. And let's keep rolling. No reason to Headed there now. go too badly. Uh, we could stick to here, but there's a high probability that we're not going to encounter the big nasty here. We're going to encounter it further down this direction. So if that's the nearest pack, it's either on the other side of the UFO or here. My bet's on, since the map is much longer in this direction, um, probably going to be somewhere out there. And that way, once we take care of that, we can deal with the Outsider. God damn it. Here I was hoping to be able to bring you a quick, short, and steady mission, but unfortunately, it's not to be. Not to be, friends. Big Mac, why don't you come up here, Understood. and um, next turn you'll just steady up, and we'll be able to deploy rockets at will. Unfortunately, with that mech, we are out of smoke grenades. Uh, we had double mechtoid, okay. and, uh, you know, no smoke. So this is going to be a little tricky, but oh, here we go. I got my eyes on. There's definitely more mechtoids. Definitely more mechtoids out there. Alright, Spike, because I know those things go on Overwatch as soon as they peek somebody, so... Nothing. All right. That's affirmative. Okay. So this is some double height stuff that we can use, and if the mech pack is out here, this is some decent cover to be utilized in this direction, and then we can take a pretty decent breach from the UFO from this side. This is the broad side you can't see through. Um, so we're gonna move out in that direction, and if we don't see the mech for a while there, then we'll just go in and breach. This is the edge of the map, is it not? No, oh, we got a little bit of distance here yet, so the pack could still be sitting just out there in a the corner waiting for us to tread across its uh, its phalanges or something. Uh, let's... <laughs> sorry. Too much too much biology in my life. Uh, Mac. Yeah, you're just gonna steady up there, buddy, I think, but let's make sure everyone is in a decent position before we decide to potentially trigger go. something that might kill us in one shot. Like a sectopod. Reaper. To that location. Okay, we were gonna move Ray out there. We're not going to currently. Hank, I want to get by that tree, so I'm going to put Hank here for now. I want him to have that shot down that angle, down that pipe if I need it. 
Sugar roll up this way. Heading there now. Ray's gonna peek around that corner, the full cover corner, but he'll be able to contribute. Is everybody right here? Yeah, okay, so it gets good. Mac, steady up, Mac. Make sure that evil doesn't come over. Everyone else, well, Hank, you can steady, I guess, because you might need be needed for that long distance shot. Everyone else that is not in cover, Ray, I guess, can steady. Uh, in case we do peek something, everyone else can watch. Just sitting out in the open. Quiet. Do you hear something? I know that's the freaking outsider. I want to know where the damn mech is. Where is the mech? For bis die mechen pardon? That's affirmative. Okay, nothing. I could rush up with commando pretty hard here, but I'd rather not. Can we actually get Reaper? Let's get Reaper in the full cover position with two shots. That'd be more important, I think. Okay, nothing doing. Let's get let's get uh, Hank out in this corner so he's pretty much vision on the entire map. Okay, good. It's tension inducing, but we know there's another stompy stompy mech out there. If it was anything not sounding like a mech, I'd probably just go in for the UFO, but mech is no laughing way. matter. Lot of heavy artillery potentially, so we don't want to screw that one up. Sugar, come up Heading here. Out. There's a lot of half cover here. If I get caught out here, I'm gonna be in a pretty bad way. But we're gonna try to make the best of it. I don't want to put commando too far forward, since I don't know what lies just just along the river bend. Aye, aye, we'll move commander. him out next turn. Ray, come up here and just overwatch with the rest of us. My Rocketeer, I think. Mac is going to need to sit. Yeah, we're going to put Mac here is probably the best place. Get that rocket if I need some heat ammo going. He doesn't have heat ammo, though, so screw it. He's going to set that rocket and then run like hell. All right. Reaper, you have opportunists. So why don't you set up? Everyone else. Yeah. I don't know. Just overwatch here. Oh, he runs oh, it and some things on it. I hear it, but I don't know where. I'm kind of hearing in the middle of my forehead. So it's either straight here or slightly to my left ear. If my ears can be trusted, which is up for debate. Um, where I'm are on you? It, Commander. Not here, apparently. Heading to that location. Okay, so we're gonna probably take this high ground here, and if we still don't find the damn mech pack up circling around, we'll probably just go in for the UFO. Ah, oh, God, stress, stress, stress. All right, let's not get anyone killed here. Ray, come back Heading here. For that location. Uh, Hank, I'm still gonna keep Hank kind of in his crow's nest here for now. My luck's gonna come in right here where Hank doesn't have a shot. Okay. But, all right, whatever. I can't have everything I want, I guess. Uh, Mac, can we put you here and have you steady? Mm -hmm. I think we can. I think we're okay, not assuming it's not gonna come from there, but I could be very wrong. Uh, where are you, Spike? Spike him out here. On the move. And where's this sugar? Come out here. I'm on it, Commander. We're gonna try to take this high position with the good cover. Otherwise, we're just gonna scatter like flies and then hope it doesn't kill us. All right, Hank, stay that up because we need you to get the good swing in and. Oh, no. All right. did you hear something? Okay, that could be the mech pack now, or it could still be the outsider and the UFO. So there's a lot of things that could go badly here if we trigger it incorrectly. Uh, let's see. Where is Spike? Can you take a peek? What's up there? Headed there now. Okay, nothing apparently, so that's all right. If it is out there, we'll be Good able to, to deal with it. We'll have a good concave on it, assuming that's where it actually is. At this stage, I'm still not convinced it's there because I'm paranoid as hell, but that's, like I said, that is what XCOM and Long War especially does to you. You just don't know where the hammer's going to drop from. Right, Commando, get ready to rush up, but I want you feasibly covered here. Okay. Nothing yet. Dolphin, come up behind him. Yeah, we're not trying to breach it. We have a lot of people on the open, so we don't want to necessarily take vision before we're ready. Good. Sugar, Get in the midst of them. Mac, keep steadying. Hank, I want to move now. I want him basically in a better position than this. If we can get him... Is this a pretty good shot on everything? This is pretty much a good shot on everything, save anything that comes from there. But he does have That's snapshots, at least we have that. So let's get Hank up there and steady up. Oh, if he comes over the bend, we'll know.
Days I wish I had a motion scanner or extra battle scanners, but I don't because I have a baby scout, but that's what this mission is supposed to fix. On the move. Commando. Okay. Apparently nothing out this way. So it may be hanging out with the outsider, which really sucks. But what can you do? Aye, aye, I mean, except just suffer through it. I really hate the fact that I hear mech all the time. It's just freaking annoying. Way. Steady up, Mac. If this takes too much of an annoyance, we may just go in, grab the outside, and have the mech come to us, because that'll obviously bring hell down upon us um, in a big way. And the, the lack of smoke is a little disconcerting, so we're going to have to execute this guy if we do see him quickly extremely fast. Um, otherwise, we're going to start taking damage. There's a lot of half cover here, not a lot of good full cover. We give Ray that corner. Is that corner? Yeah, it is corner. Roger Give Ray that, that corner. In case something comes from a weird direction. Hank, let's get you out here. Corner. corner cover again, just to be safer. And we'll get you into a better position in a second. But I want to keep my sniper moving. Alright, let's, let's take a peek. Let's make that noise. Now I'm beginning to think the mech pack isn't there. That was just the outsider we heard again. So I'm not even less confident where to move here. Oh god, okay, um, I think, folks, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a cut here, and then we'll pick up the next episode, and I'll be able to trim down the beginning if we can't find any contact anytime soon. So let's just call it an episode, we'll take down this UFO, this little small UFO, it's trickster, honestly, with that much mech packed in it. Uh, and we'll see if we can't take the alloy spoils for ourselves while not getting any of our babies killed. I have been Urs, this has been XCOM, and I'll see you all next time. Till then!